Hello, Kamusta. My name is JV Sebastian. I welcome you to another episode of the RKMCS Criminology Lecture Series. For today, we shall discuss about drugs. I am referring to narcotic drugs. Particularly the top five plant sources of dangerous drugs, the marijuana plant, the opium poppy plant, the coca bush plant, the epidra plant, and the peyote cactus. I hope that at the end of this presentation, you will be able to discover the dangerous nature and characteristics of these beautiful plants. I'll discuss them according to their history, nature, properties and identities. So, let's begin with the most oldest one, the marijuana plant. The term marijuana is a Spanish-Mexican term used to refer to the Indian hemp plant. It is a plant that grows in tropical region and attains an approximate height of 15 to 20 feet. Scientifically, the marijuana is called Cannabis sativa lini. It is a member of the Cannabinaceae family of plants. The female plant is called Pistillate. Shorter but long-lived. The male plant is called the Staminate. Taller but short-lived. The leaf of a marijuana plant formed a finger-like look. Odd in numbers from 3 up 13 finger-like leaves. This is why, some slang terms, the MJ is also same as 5 fingers or 7 fingers. The stalk of the plant can attain a height of 3 to 16 feet. Its root can attain a length of approximately 8 inches. MJ is a hallucinogen drug. It is a mind-altering drug. It can alter a person's awareness of their surroundings as well as their own thoughts and feelings. The active ingredient or alkaloid found in MJ is called cannabin, chemically known as tetrahydrocannabinol or THC. The THC, when introduced into the system of the human body, produces the physiological hallucinogenic effect. The resin of the marijuana plant, called hashish, can be found on the most top portion of the female MJ plant. It contains a concentrated form of the alkaloid THC, which is 5 to 20 times stronger than the one found on the plain marijuana leaves. In the street, some call it bang ganja, weed, green leaf, gold or acapulco gold, and many other street names. The means of using the MJ as a drug, varies from ingestion to smoking. Historically, marijuana has been ingrained in many cultures of the world. It was found that cannabis is indigenous to Central Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Cannabis was also known to the ancient Assyrians, who discovered its psychoactive properties through the Aryans. Its first use was found to be in some religious ceremonies. The Aryans called it kanubu, meaning, way to produce smoke. Then, the Aryans introduced cannabis to the Scythians, Thracians and Dacians, whose shamans burned cannabis flowers to induce trance. The classical Greek historian Herodotus, around 480 BC, reported that the inhabitants of Scythia would often inhale the vapors of hemp seed smoke, both as ritual and for their own pleasurable recreation. Around the turn of the millennium, the use of hashish or cannabis resin began to spill over from the Persian world into the Arab world. Then, cannabis is thought to have been introduced to Africa by early Arab or Indian Hindu travelers. The Europeans, particularly the Spaniards, brought industrial hemp to the Western Hemisphere and cultivated it in Chile starting about 1545. Marijuana usage became global, until international regulation took place at The Hague in 1925. Now, let's proceed to talk about the opium poppy plant. Opium is scientifically known as papaver somniferum. The word papaver, is a Greek term which means poppy, while the word somniferum is a Latin term which means dream or induced sleep. The plant can grow from 3 to 6 feet in height. Originally in Mesopotamia, the Sumerians called it pool gil, which means, plant of joy, due to its joyful or euphoric effect when administered to the system of the body. Its active ingredient is the meconic acid, its analgesic property. The opium poppy is the plant where other dangerous drugs are derived from, such as morphine, heroin, and codeine. Historically, the use of the opium poppy goes back to the ancient culture or practices of the Sumerians, about 4000 BC. The making and use of opium was known to the ancient Minoans. Its sap was later named opion by the ancient Greeks, from where it gained its modern name of opium. The First and Second Opium Wars between China, and the British Empire and France took place in the late 1830s to the early 1860s. This was when the Chinese attempted to stop Western traders from selling and later smuggling opium into China from India. Because of its medicinal usage, it spread out from Mesopotamia to Persia, India and China. Opium was used for treating asthma, stomach illnesses, and bad eyesight. Although it is an analgesic or pain reliever drug, opium properties are very addictive. 
Its derivatives morphine, heroin and codeine, remained useful as pain relievers in today's modern medicine. Recently, Turkey and India are the major producers of poppy for medicinal purposes and poppy-based drugs, in the world. Next, we have the coca bush plant. The coca bush plant is scientifically known as erythrozylon coca, and this plant is common in South America. The plant grows in mountainous and tropical climate areas, on clay-like soil. A fully grown cultivated coca plant attains a height of 6 to 8 feet and can be harvested 3 to 4 times in a year. The dangerous drug that can be produced from this plant is the drug cocaine. The most powerful natural stimulant known so far. Chemically, cocaine is cocaine hydrochloride, a stimulant drug. Coca is traditionally cultivated in the lower altitudes of the eastern slopes of the Andes or the highlands depending on the species grown. Coca production begins in the valleys and upper jungle regions of the Andean region, where the countries of Colombia, Peru and Bolivia. This is no wonder why these countries are host to more than 98% of the global land area planted with coca. In 2014, coca plantations were also discovered in Mexico. And in 2020 in the Honduras. But the cultivation of this plant can be traced back to the cultures of the ancient Incas of Peru. Coca chewing was viewed among the Incas as having a divine origin. Certainly, cocaine is a prohibited drug due to its dangerous effects to the body and society. Now, let's talk about the epedra plant. Known to the Chinese as Ma Huang, the epedra plant also called Ephedra vulgaris, is a psychoactive plant that contains psychotropic properties, one of which is the alkaloid ephedrine and pseudoephedrine. Pseudopedrine is an active ingredient as an anti-asthma drug. It is an essential chemical precursor in the preparation of drugs such as methamphetamine or amphetamines. The methamphetamine hydrochloride, commonly known as shabu, is a product derived from this plant through chemical processes. From the ephedra plant, through ephedrine preparations, crystal methamphetamine can be produced. Methamphetamine, sometimes called crystal meth, is a glass-like substance that is smoked in a pipe or can be injected through the veins of the blood vessels. It is a stimulant drug that lifts mood, increases energy, and makes users feel more alert. It is very addictive and can lead to withdrawal symptoms such as depression, cravings, and nervousness. And because of these dangers to the human body and society as well, many countries prohibit the manufacture, production, sale or distribution of this narcotic drug. Now, finally, we have the peyote cactus. Another source of narcotic drugs is the peyote cactus, scientifically known as Lophophora williamsi. Peyote, sometimes referred to as the narcotic cactus. Peyote is a Spanish word derived from the Aztecs, meaning glisten or glistening. Other sources translate the word as divine messenger. It is commonly found in Mexico and its borders. It is the source of the hallucinogen drug known as mescaline. Mescaline is classified under the hallucinogen drugs because of its mind-altering effects when introduced to the system of the body. One to two hours after the drug is taken, delusions begin to occur. Optical hallucinations follow one upon another in rapid succession. This is also one of the reasons why mescaline drug is a narcotic drug identified in the list of psychotropic substances. Although its prohibition has exemptions. Like when used for ritualistic purposes in native religious practices. So, there you go, the top 5 plant sources of narcotic drugs. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you learned something from this short presentation. Please like or subscribe at our YouTube channel for more videos. Sign up to, to our website www.criminologysolutions.com.